Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews, back with another video, and it's been a little over a week since Apple has released iOS 17 to the public, and we already have the first beta of iOS 17.1. Now this is quite a good update, it comes with a bunch of new features and changes that will of course make iOS 17 even better. So in this video we're going to take a look at more than 10 new features of iOS 17.1 and of course we're going to talk everything else you need to know regarding this update. Now first of all the size of the update it's actually quite big. So right here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max I got the update at around 6.5 gigs so that's quite a big update for point one, which is really interesting now the build number for this update will be 21b 5045h this is the new build number for ios 17.1 beta 1 which indicates that of course we will have quite a few betas for this release i would expect five to six new betas for ios 17.1 before we get the rc version and of course the final release and now let's move on to the new features and changes of iOS 17.1. Now with the new devices, the new iPhone 15 series, you know we have the USB Type-C. Now we can actually utilize this to charge other devices. USB Type-C to Lightning, you can charge another iPhone that of course supports Lightning or maybe your AirPods. Now under the battery section, now you will have something right here that shows you how much battery your iPhone has consumed charging other devices so you will have of course your apps here and then you will have a USB-C accessory so right here you will see how much time and if you do it a lot it will also show, show the percentage of battery that you have actually used to charge your other devices via USB Type-C. And with the first beta of iOS 17.1, Apple has added a really interesting feature for AirDrop. If you go to settings, go to general, and then go under AirDrop right here, you will now be able to use seller data to use, of course, AirDrop when you're out of the range. So you enable it right here, and you can see it says continue to send and receive content when Wi-Fi is not available during AirDrop. So even though you might be away from the other iPhone, you will still be able to actually transfer the stuff over AirDrop as long as you have seller data enabled right here. Now something pretty cool with the iPhone 15 Pro series is that when you go and turn on the flashlight on the dynamic island, you will see the flashlight right there. You can tap on it and of course turn it off so all the time you will know if your flashlight is on or not. Well, with the first beta of iOS 17, Apple 17.1, actually, Apple has added that to the iPhone 14 Pro series as well because it's quite a good feature. A lot of people have been requesting this, and Apple has decided to add it to the other iPhones with the Dynamic Island as well. Now, we have a lot of changes on the music app with the first beta of iOS 17.1. First of all, we have a new favorite button. So the heart is gone. Now we have a star there, which allows us to favorite and unfavorite favorite song so you will find it right here when you go to the player you will find the button right there to favorite the song and of course you will find it on the three d touch menu as well so if i just tap right here i can go ahead and favorite the song and if you use apple music and you have favorite songs now when you 3d touch on the icon of the music app you will get here a button to start playing your favorite song so this is a new button for the 3d touch menu of the music app you also get now song suggestions when trying to add music to maybe one of your playlists. You will get song suggestions like this. So it's basically like five songs that it shows. You will have buttons here to actually add them to the playlist or you will have a refresh button right there. If you don't like the songs that you see, you want to get other recommendations. You can just go ahead and press that button and it will refresh those songs for you. Now this right here is actually a nice touch, a very useful feature. When you want to add a song to a playlist, you tap here, add to playlist. It will show you all the playlists that you have. And just underneath the name of the playlist, it will also show you whether that, like, that song has been added to that playlist or not. So right here you can see it says already added. So you know that you have that song and you don't add it again to that same playlist. Now what's really cool for playlists with iOS 17.1 beta 1 is that when you go to edit one of your playlists, you will have here a bunch of like different suggestions for the cover of that playlist. Of course, you can just add a photo, but you will have a cover of the album right here. But you will also have like a few different suggestions right here from the music app. And you can just go ahead and pick any one of them and set it as the cover of your playlist. 
Now with iOS 17, you know that when a wallpaper doesn't really fit on the lock screen of your device, iOS 17 will extend that wallpaper, add like a nice blur right there at the top and make that wallpaper fit. And right here it says wallpaper extended. But what you can do now with 17.1 is that you can actually disable that because it's actually quite tricky to disable that once it has added that blur. Sometimes you might accidentally do that. If you want to disable it, now you will have a button right here. Tap on the three dots. You can see where it says extend wallpaper. You can now just go ahead and go back to the normal wallpaper as easy as that. So anytime you extend it, just tap here and you will be able to go back. And something really interesting for the reachability view on iOS 17.1, I don't know if this is maybe a bug or they just wanted to do this. When you invoke the reachability view, before you had like a blur section right here now it's all black they have changed that so previously it would like just show like a blurred version of the wallpaper that you have on your home screen now it shows completely black and another change here you will now find the credits at the bottom of lyrics on the apple music app now these used to be before here but they had removed it and now this feature is back with ios 17.1 and now let's quickly take a look at the performance of iOS 17.1 Beta 1. Of course, this will most likely be improved a lot with the next few betas, but here we have the Geekbench score from Geekbench 6. So the single core score is at 2,922, which is of course a great score. And then we have the multi-core score at 7,276. Now I would actually expect this to be way better. I will try it out in the next few days and probably will get a way better score than this most likely in in the range of 7500 it should be somewhere like that in the multi-core score and of course about 3000 here on the single core score so what's next when to expect the new beta and of course the public release of ios 17.1 well with these betas i would expect apple to move straight to weeks weekly schedule so next week i would actually expect expect apple to release the second beta of ios 17.1 most likely on tuesday or wednesday so october 3rd or 4th should be the days when we see the second beta of ios 17.1 and i would expect apple to actually release a new beta every week for iOS 17.1 until the final release which I would expect to be somewhere around the end of October maybe the 30th of October right here it usually it gets released on a Monday or a Tuesday maybe on the 30th right here or even on the first week of November but I would expect it to actually be release to the public by the end of october so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and of course subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one